I messed up a pot. I messed up a spoon. Two knives. A skillet. And a bowl. And maybe even the sink. So what had happened was... about everything in general but more specifically I begin more conscious about how I smoke my weed I do smoke bongs and shit bong lows bowl lows I do those but not too much of the blunts every now and then with my boys and shit but not too much uh, it's harsh I really I really started cutting back because I was waking up in the morning flimmy and shit like waking up Hocking up black or yellow fucking uh, mucus. That to say, I cut back on the blunts and I smoke bowls. Um, but I begin more conscious of the lighters. So I'm lighting my blunts. Or I'm sorry, I'm lighting my bowls with the lighter and shit. So not only am I burning the weed like mad hot and like overly burning the weed, but um, I'm sucking in those motherfucking. Um, Butane from the lighters and shit, which that can't be good for you. And it tastes nasty, so I'm fucking up the taste of the weed, and I'm bringing in more harmful, harmful chemicals than I would really like. So I already know what y'all gonna say before I mean, let me beat you to it. I already know that if I really want to consume weed and not get those harmful effects, I shouldn't burn it at all. I know I shouldn't be smoking blunts or bongs or joints or none of that shit. I should be fucking vaporizing it at the most. Like, I probably shouldn't even be doing that. But really, I should be eating it, drinking it, tea, um, the different ways of getting it in our system other than smoking it. Um, because if you don't know, as soon as you put fire to the motherfucker, it changes the chemical balance of the weed from one thing to another. And that other thing is carcinogenic which means it causes cancer so yeah i mean cutting back on all of that in general i believe the butane probably does the same thing so i'm using hemp wick but hemp wick is kind of expensive it's a wick made out of hemp but it's dipped in beeswax so it can uh so it can burn slower and shit uh, i think that's all that's in it but i'm gonna check on that but um, to my understanding, that's all it is. It's some hemp, hemp twine with some motherfucking beeswax. I'm running to the store and buy this little hemp weed. Let me show you what's up. Give me a minute, y'all. All right, y'all. So that was a bus. I forgot that smoke shops ain't essential jobs. So these motherfuckers close. So, um, I guess now is the time better than any to say fucking they gonna make my own, huh? But if you smoke the way I do, you gonna go through that shit. So, show y'all how to make it. Save you a little bit of cheese. Uh, save you a little bit of cheese on that, know what I mean? Spend more money on good weed. Stop smoking this bullshit that y'all be smoking. <laughs> If you need some help in that department, let me know. I'll point you in the right direction. I'll let you know, give you as much information on the good weed that I can. Because I hate when I be going somewhere, motherfuckers be trying to blow, blow back, and they be having some bullshit. You know what I mean? It's like it maybe good to them, but I live in Cali, Joe. Like, nah. <laughs> so if you need to get learned up, you know what I mean, on what to look for and all of that, I'll let your boy, man. Get in my, get in my uh, comments down below. I'll help you out. But in the meantime, between time, rock with me. Next time you see me, I'll be in the kitchen getting ready to chef up some motherfucking hip wig. <laughs> Alright, y'all, in a minute. Could it be? Could it be? It is. Jack, man, gotta love the A Raz, boy. They hustle like the black folks hustle, boy, because this motherfucker open. Yeah. Alright, so look what I got, y'all. This little bit cost me three dollars. 
This is 15 and a half feet of hemp wick. Let's see what it says. Will's hemp wick made with organic hemp and beeswax. 15 and a half feet bundle to use. Light in, tilt up or down to control the flame. So yeah, let y'all go. Three dollars for 15 and a half feet. Some hemp. Let me show you. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. So I bought some hemp twine. And I got some beeswax. So my plan is to soak this whole thing in a nice little chunk of this. So let me get my stuff together. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and get my medicine. Get my medicine on. You know what I mean? I'll be back. Hold on. Got the hiccups too. Here, suck on your best part. Yeah. yeah. Gelato number forty-five. When you absolutely positively must get fucked up. Except no substitutes. <laughs> what you do is grind that up like so. And turn the head backwards. Cause you know it makes you work better. Put a little bit of pinch of that. Said bowl. Loosely pat that. Go pack it down. You know what I mean? Loosely pat it. Yeah, you see how you don't burn all super hot like a lighter does, so you don't burn up your weed. And you get a bit of a better cleaner hit. No butane, so you can taste more of the terpenes and the, the flavorfulness of the weed. Beeswax, hemp, yeah, bowl, and I got a Leon pot here. Mind you, this is got Teflon on it. I don't cook with this shit. You shouldn't cook with it because, as you see, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like over time you get those little scratches in there, and the Teflon starts to wear off, <clears throat> and that shit seeps into your food. You know what I mean? And you don't want that. It's a chemical that is not good for you. Definitely led to some diseases. I'm like, I don't know exactly if it's cancer or not, but most likely cancer, potentially some other ones too. So I'm gonna just use this. So you do a little double boiler method to melt the beeswax. While that beeswax is melting, Opportunity to test out old Mr. Wills and with drop off in a big Not quite sure if this is enough of the wheat beeswax, but uh, gonna make it enough. Yeah, that's what I saw on YouTube University. <laughs> Just do it like five minutes each side. No, that ain't enough because they ain't even coming up halfway. That's what I said. You ain't oh, say I'm nothing. Thinking, that's, that's a lot of it. That's all right. Good. That's okay. I'll probably throw some more beeswax in there. Melt some wax, double boiler style. Then put your hemp inside the um inside the wax. You can probably get, I guess you can unravel it as well. However you want to do it, but basically you want to soak the wax into the hemp itself and then let it cool. And when you let it cool, it's ready to use just like that. So, 
I'm gonna uh, cut some more wax, get some this melted up, and uh, I'll see y'all when this is done in a minute. All right, so I'm done with this shit for now. This is my first attempt with this hemp wig, making hemp wig with beeswax. And I must say, A, it's not pretty. <laughs> Look like I had a tumbleweed full of shit right here. Got clumps of wax. So I definitely need to refine this process. But I know it'll be better once I get my own pots and pans just for this shit. But nonetheless, I got tumbleweed for the wax. Waxed hemp. And now, it's the big test. Alright, so this is 15 feet of <laughs> the hemp wig that I bought from the store. And this is shit. I need to find the paper. I don't even know what a rapper is. On with the testing. Alright, so. Him away from the store. Lights up. Not bad, right? Him away, guy just made. A, I don't know if it's the right hemp fucking twine true. shit. And B, I don't know if I left it in the wax long enough for it to get soaked all the way through. I think it did. It all looked wet, but let's see. Alright. So, this one burns a little bit slower than this, but this shit is working, so I will be using it. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you know what? This one. It's definitely some different... Uh, it's gotta be some different material to use because this is burning clean. See, mine's still smoking. This one's out. Mine's thicker too. So, I don't know. Get in the comments, y'all. Let me know what, what I did wrong. Any suggestions? Where should I buy some hemp? Some, uh, some hemp twine or string or whatever the fuck it's called. Because this is called hemp twine. That's what I ordered. I don't know what a fucking rapper is, though. Anyway, thanks for watching, man. I gotta figure out how to clean up the rest of this damn wax.